Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamu alaikum. Some of the aspirants complain that uh, the mathematical portion of CSS general science and ability paper was difficult in 2021. So I've decided to upload the solutions uh, of the mathematical portion. Uh, let me start uh, with question A, which is about mathematical questions. Uh, part A of this question states that a man is now three times as old as his son. If the age of the son is supposed to be X, then the age of father will be uh, 3X. In 10 years time, the sum of their ages will be 76. In 10 years time, the age of the son will be X plus 10 and the age of the father will be 3x plus 10 and the additional information given says that the the sum of their ages will be 76 in 10 years time so uh, in a mathematical expression we can write it as age of the father plus age of son is equal to 76 but we know that age of the father is 3x plus 10 age of the son is x plus 10 so putting these values uh, in the equation 3x plus 10 plus x plus 10 is equal to 76 now we can solve this equation for x to do this i need to eliminate this 10 here uh, to eliminate it i have to subtract it from both sides of the equation and one more time I also don't need the other 10 here so by cancelling it from the left hand side of the equation I'll get 3x plus x is equal to 56 so solving it for x the value of x comes out to be 14 so if the age of the son is 14 the age of the father will be 3 into 14 so 3 into 3 times 14 is 42 but this is not the requirement of the question the question doesn't end here uh, the solution doesn't end here uh, we are required to calculate how old was the man when his son was born basically we have to go 14 years back then we will be at a point where his son was born so we have to deduct 14 from this 42 to get the age of the father when his son was born so we will deduct 14 from 42 and the result is 28 let me uh, confirm this solution by uh, giving a comparative table of the ages of the father and the son when the child was born the father was 28 years old the age of the child is obviously now zero after 14 years we'll add 14 in 28 to get 42 and we'll also add 14 in zero now the age of the father has uh, become 42 and age of the son is 14 and 42 is three times 14 after 10 years from this point we will add 42 in the age of uh, we will add 10 in 42 and 10 in 14 as well the resultant ages of the father and son will be 52 and 24 respectively and the sum of these two ages is 76 which satisfies this information given that after 10 years time their the sum of their ages will be 76 so this was the solution that this comparative table was not the requirement the uh, solution ends here this was just for your understanding let me uh, now move to the next part part b of the question it requires us to calculate the area uh, and after that we will uh, have to calculate the number of tiles required to cover the area of a footpath 
the starting part of the question is that we have to calculate the area of a grassy plot whose dimensions are given. Its breadth is 14 meters and its length is 24 meters. If we uh, consider this square of 1 meter square, then the grassy plot will look like this. The area of the grassy plot will be, length to width, we know that the formula of area, 14 into 24 is 336 meters square. Let me put the area in the grassy plot. To build a footpath 1 meter wide around this grassy plot, the new bigger uh, plot will look like this. It will be having dimensions of 16 uh, meter breadth and it will be 26 meter long. Why is that? Uh, we have this 14 meters at the breadth of the grassy plot. Uh, we have to build one meter uh, footpath on the right hand side, one meter uh, uh, footpath on the left hand side of this grassy plot. So the total area of the bigger plot will be 1 plus 1 plus 14 which is 16 meters. Similarly, the length of the grassy plot is 24 meters. We have to build footpath at 1 meter at the top, 1 meter at the bottom of this uh, grassy plot. So the dimensions of the bigger plot will be 24 plus 2 which is 26 meters. The area of the bigger plot will be uh, 14 plus 1 for the left side uh, footpath, 1 for the right side footpath, so 14 plus 1 plus 1 which is 16. Similarly, 24 one plus 1 for the top plus 1 for the bottom and its length will be 26. So area of the bigger plot will be 16 into 26. So why I am calculating the area? Uh, the idea, it will become obvious in a while. So the area of the bigger plot is 416 meters, meter square. But what will be the area of the footpath then? We know the area of the bigger plot. We know we have calculated the area of the grassy plot. So the area of the footpath is actually the difference of uh, the bigger plot and the grassy plot. If we deduct 416, uh, for 336 from 416, then the result will be the area of the footpath. So deducting 336 from 416 gives us 80 meter square. So uh, this is the area of the footpath and we There is an additional information given in the question that one child covers 20 square centimeters. We know that one meter contains 100 centimeters. So one square meter will be the square of 100 in square centimeters. So one meter square is equal to 10,000 square centimeters. So if one child covers 20 square centimeters, how many tiles will be required to cover 1 meter square or 10,000 centimeters square? So we will simply divide 10,000 by 20. So 500 tiles are required to cover 1 meter square of an area. So how many tiles will be required to cover 80 meter square of area? So we will simply multiply 500 by 80. So there are 40,000 tiles required to cover 80 meters square area of the footpath. This was the required solution for part B of question 6. Solution of this question. Let me move forward to the part C of question 6. Mr. Fahim went to restaurant where the marked price of the food order was 15,000. The restaurant offers 10% discount on food. So 
uh, we have to less the discount on this uh, food the amount of the discount can be calculated uh, as it's the question says that 10% on the mark price of the food so 10% of 15,000 is actually 15,000 into 10 divided by 100 so deducting the amount of discount from mark price gives us the discounted price which is 13,500 the question says that uh, the restaurant charges 10% service charge to calculate the service charges we have to multiply 13,500 with 10 and dividing it by 100 gives us 10% of 13,500 which is 1,350 so adding 1,350 in 13,500 gives us 14,850 which is the price of the food item ordered excluding GST the rate of GST has been given as 17% so 17% of 14,850 calculated in uh, the manners already discussed above gives us the amount 2,525 rounded to the nearest rupee. So adding 14,850 with 2,525 results in 17,375 which is the total amount of money Mr. Fahim has to pay for this. Uh, for the food ordered so this was the required solution let me move forward quickly to the part D of the question the question states that Mr. Khaja walked for 45 minutes at the rate of 3 kilometers per hour and then ran for an hour half an hour at a certain speed the information given in the question can be summarized in a table Mr. Fahim first covered a distance certain distance by walking then he covered a certain distance by running and the total distance covered by Mr. Fahim by walking and running Mr. Khwaja sorry by walking and running is 6 km. So the question states that 45 minutes it took at a speed of 3 km per hour uh, Mr. Khwaja uh, to cover some certain distance. So as the speed is given in kilometers per hour we have to convert this time into hours too so we know that uh, one hour contains 60 minutes so 45 minutes will be 45 by 60 or 0.75 hours by using the distance formula we know distance is equal to the product of time and speed we have been given time and speed as well Mr. Khwaja walked for uh, 0.75 hours at a rate of 3 kilometers per hour so the product of 0.75 and 3 is 2.25 kilometers so I can put the distance here which is 2.25 kilometers now if the total distance covered is 6 kilometers and he Mr. Khwaja covered 2.25 kilometers by walking how much distance he must have covered by running it is simply we will deduct 2.25 from 6 to get the distance covered by Mr. Khwaja by running. So we know the distance we have been given time uh, Mr. Khwaja uh, was running. So using these two values in putting these two values in the distance formula we can calculate the speed or the rate at which Mr. Khaja was running how the, as the question states that how fast did he run so putting 3.75 the distance just covered just we have calculated and time half an hour is given in the question so we can solve uh, this equation for speed moving 0.5 on the other side of the equation uh, dividing 3.75 by 0.5 will double 3.75 which is 7.5 kilometers per hour so this is the required speed at which Mr. Khwaja was running this is the required solution of part D of question 6 this was the all from my side uh, and if you have any any query in your mind please do ask me in comment section thank you very much